Ni tunaelewa sote kwamba kisha kila wakati tunapokuwa na uchaguzi kuna kwa tunakuwa na wasiwasi mwingi mno. Na pia kwa sasa hivi umeuliza tumeona mawimbi yameza kutanda. Na serikali imetoa tahadhari kwa wale wote ambao wako na nia ya kuweza kuvuruga amani ni kwamba watachukuliwa hatua. Tayari kuna baadhi ya wale ambao mnajua wamenaswa wako kwenye mkono, mkono wa sheria na hatua itachukuliwa. Tumeona pia kisi viongozi ambao wanafaa kuwa ndio kio ya jamii. Tunawategemea kwa kutoa maamuzi mazuri, tunawategemea kwa kutoa maelekezo kwa wananchi, tunawategemea kwa njia ya kuweza kupea na usia. Lakini wao ndio watu wa kwanza kuvuruga amani. Sasa kama wao ndio wanavuruga amani, sisi wenyewe ambao tunawategemea itakuwa vipi? Kwa hivyo tunaomba tu viongozi wa kisiasa ni kwamba wakumbuke kwamba tunawaangalia, tunawategemea. Kwa hivyo napotoa maamuzi, iwe ni maamuzi ambayo yanetija maamuzi ambayo yatasaidia wananchi katika hali ya kujiboresha na pia katika hali ya kuleta amani. Contract value for this project is 2.3 billion and as at now the progress what has it, what has been achieved up to date is around 75%. So you can see these works are progressing. This uh, is an advanced technology of crossing this bridge. Like there has been previously the government since 1981 there was a never to cross this river using uh, construction since 1981 but that time standards of constructing bridges had not been developed because in 1987 was the last ever the structures you're seeing here are for 1987 and from that time there has not been any effort up to now up to this government that now you can see the structures that is up here what we have here are uh, piers and this bridge is 241 meter long longest of its kind in uh, Kenya. This kind of uh, bridge can only be met with the Nyali Bridge. In, in addition to this structure, there are uh, what we call approach roads. Approach roads coming into this uh, structure, Parijo Bridge, and exiting. So this is uh, totaling around 23 kilometers. So that finally, when this project is completed, it will be a continuous loop from Sapaki. You can go to Marekepuni, you go to Marafa, you come to Sosoni, you come to Paricho, you cross here, and you go to Baulala, and you go down up to Malindi. Ni kwamba serikali inaweka mikakati ya kuweza kukikisha kwamba hali ya mananchi imeboreshwa. Imeboreshwa kwa kuwekeza kwa miradi nyingi sana, moja wapo ikiwa ni hii daraja ya Baricho. Ili kuweza kusaidia kwa usafiri. Vile buwana injinia mesema, ni kwamba hapo awali watu wamekuwa na matatizo, ya kuvuka wakienda kutafuta matikuduma za matibabu wakienda shuleni wakienda masoko walitalii wanaumia lakini sasa kwa sababu daraja hii mambo usafiri utaboreshwa zaidi itakuwa ni kwa mwendo wa haraka kwa hivyo kwa jumla ni kwamba serikali ina nia na lengo la kuweza kuboresha maisha ya mwananchi ili kwamba kila mmoja aweze kushughulika na mambo ya ujenzi wa taifa kwa njia ambayo ni ya haraka kwa njia ambayo ni kamilifu